Hello, my gorgeous Libra. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you are all feeling magnificent. Really hope that the week has been kind, patient, and generous for all of you. And if it hasn't, for the collective watching this, I'm sending you a very warm, tight, squishy virtual hug. So, Libra, let's get straight into it. I will move the clarifying deck to the side. Just move that over there. All right. Libra, I want to get to the bottom of something. And this is about someone that you've been thinking about. So they're kind of like at the back of your mind, perhaps leaving a little bit rent free in your heart space. And I want to talk about someone's true feelings about you. So you could be talking to this person or not. You could be in a connection with them right now or not. Even if it's on again or off again, or you might say it's complicated. I usually find out pretty early what type of connection you have with them. But at the end of the day, so like I said, the bottom line, I want to find out their true feelings for you. And of course, that also reveals their intentions, their agenda and anything else that you should know about. So let's do a good shuffle and let's get straight into it. Now, see, the cards are a little bit stuck. So your person can be feeling a little bit stuck here um, with their emotions. And that could be, should I say something? Should I not? Should I act? Should I not? So let's see. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Yeah, it's happening again. It's very rare for that to happen, but yeah, now we know. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Excellent. All right, Libra, here we go. All right, so. Bottom of the deck, the energy that is spinning around you in regard to this person and their feelings for you is you. You're going to find out something pretty soon. In fact, this is going to happen sooner rather than later. The Ace of Swords is ruled by you, Libra Energy. And it's such a powerful card. We know Aces are all about breakthroughs, about brand new beginnings. And what I love about this card, this sword, literally cuts through any BS. It cuts through the past challenges, especially if there was a falling out between the both of you. If there was assumptions or uh, miscommunication or anything where feelings were hurt because those mountains those jagged mountains represent all the challenges and anything or everything that happened before like the ten of swords there could have definitely been a very sad um, departure and ending between the both of you but you are about to get some truth and clarity from the horse's mouth from this person about why they did what they did Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy, they may have blocked you, they may have iced you out, they chose something or someone else over you, they shouldn't have defended you when they didn't. Mm -hmm. So now, it, you know, we're feeling very rejected, very unloved by this person. So it's time to talk here. You want the honest truth and they will take action with the Queen of Wands, regardless of their age, gender or zodiac sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. So they will be taking action. I feel like this person can be a little bit rash sometimes a bit impulsive they think they do stuff first without thinking there you are that's you libra energy you're like sitting there like i'll allow you to talk because i feel here that you also want to talk you're trying to remove your emotion from this this might have been a third party situation because we are seeing at the same time two queens and you've got your back turned against this um queen of wands but we also have the three of pentacles that is capricorn energy and there's three people there so this could have been a third party yeah they're finding their strength leo energy to face you mm. the truth is coming the truth is absolutely coming the current energy between the both of you please okay it, it appears at the moment that we have both gone our separate ways right and it's not a bad thing for now because we've moved away from that conflict or that choppy water now into the lake of tranquility. Some of you may also be at a certain distance from each other. Very strong Aquarius energy there. But I think at the moment we are definitely not talking. We are not together. There's been a lot of damage here. A lot of injustice. Where are you at with this person, please? Yeah, you're holding back. And you will always have a good reason to. So even though that's Gemini energy, it is still swords. And that does cover Aquarius and you at Libra energy. So this person does trigger you. I feel like there is something where you're fine. And if they talk to you or if they get near you or you hear something through a friend or through the grapevine, our anxiety, our nervousness just gets triggered here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think they will be approaching you. I don't think you have any intention on approaching them first. Where are they at with you, please, emotionally? Lots of stress, 10 of wands, Sagittarius energy. So this is a major card of burdens. It's often known as the most stressful, burdensome card in the entire deck. So they are very stressed. I think both of you are. Here you are mentally, but your person is feeling it um, physically here. How are they emotionally behind the scenes when no one is looking? Wow. They are definitely entertaining the thought that they want another chance with you. Because that is the Wheel of Fortune, often known as um, a change in direction, a change in fortune. They want that wheel to keep turning. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy here. So, oh, okay, wouldn't be surprised because all the cards now start to connect. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're really entertaining the thought, well, I'd like to move forward with Libra if they give me five minutes just to explain myself. And the prospect of that is making them very stressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any mutual energies between the both of you, especially when it comes to emotions, is heartbreak. And that is you. That is Libra energy right there. So I knew there was a third party. So yes, this literally could be infidelity, that this person cheated on you. Doesn't always have to be. This literally just could be a, some type of intrusion. The ex, family, friends, co-workers, distance, money, adult children on their side. And even if you know in your situation there was no intrusion, well, we both know here that regardless really, there is heartbreak. So that's what's stressing your person out because they know the damage that they have caused. And this is something we can both agree on. They broke your heart. But this is where it gets interesting is that they broke their heart as well. So no one's leaving, leaving unscathed here. So um, I want to find out, um, is there anything that your person is also planning? Is there any moves behind the scenes? And there is. Wow. Three of Wands. A really positive card too of action after a long time of procrastinating, of planning, of delaying themselves, Aries energy. So yeah, they actually, they know what they need to do because they left one wand and another wand, they're holding onto the last one. So they're just waiting until maybe they feel a bit more confident with that strength card, or maybe they're waiting for the right timing. So they're waiting for something to reach out to you. And the more threes I see, three of swords, three of wands, three of pentacles, there was an intrusion here. So they're just waiting for perhaps the right time until maybe they feel better, maybe on a Friday, long weekend, everyone's always in a better mood for them to approach you. What's your person hiding? Are they hiding anything? And yes, it could be something challenging or it could be something that you think, okay, it's not that bad. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Okay. The only thing that they're hiding here is their love for you for now because they might actually make that very, you know, vocal. Um, they want to unearth that Pisces energy here. Um, well, they could definitely be um, hiding that they're planning here, that they want a reunion, that you are the happily ever after, that you are the one, but it's what's stressing them. You know, this is their cross to bear that, well, if they're feeling like this, you shouldn't have never done this then. Advice from your spirit team, please. Wow. The magician, Gemini Virgo energy. So I'm getting two messages here. One is that your spirit team is applauding you because you can recognize now lies and manipulation, not just from this person, but from anyone else, because that's the shadow side of the magician. The other message here that they want you to know is that they're going to be applauding you on how you may reapproach this, because now you've got all the tools on the table to make this work. This is all about entertaining the thought after heartbreak. Well, what if we did have a new beginning? Because how this person broke your heart, we know is going to be very personal and very different for the collective watching this. So I think it's more like they're asking you this question, Libra, do you want to give this person another chance? Do you want to actually have a new beginning? Or are you happy where you are moving on on your own? Some of you may be traveling here. Now, I just want to see for the vast majority of you, Libra, where are you more leaning towards in regards to this person? So this is the most probable outcome based on the current energies, how you are right now. Let's see. Well, you got my number one favorite card. It's the sun. Leo energy, this is literally the most happiest card in the entire deck. And it spills over to joy, bliss, blessings, the return of health for you, physical, but also the health of this relationship and the rays of the sun offer what illumination here. So that's why we got the Ace of Swords, that's Libra energy. You're gonna find out the truth and the whole truth 
I sound like a lawyer, but there's going to be no lies. Everything's going to be unearthed. So look at these cards. Honestly, the sun is, you know, it's a massive card of blessings and healing the broken heart, the burdens. We've got a lot of cards for this connection rather than against it. Now, let me just split the deck. Yep, we've got the world. We've got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Both of you have come full circle. There is a massive chance, opportunity to close the chapter, close the door to what happened here and start fresh. Have a new chapter here because that's a card of where there is endings, there is beginnings and it all comes because you are going to get massive clarity. So yes, we've had a falling out with this person, but this is not over. So let's let's add more on this. That's why I was picking up that your person is stuck because it's all this stress here that they have about reapproaching you, about reintroducing themselves back into your life. Four more, three more, two more, and the last one. Here we go. Someone's clenching their jaw. I think that's you, Libra. Could be just a nervous thing. Um, yeah, look at that. We've got temperance at the bottom. Sagittarius energy. This is a really nice card. That's supposed to be the angel of love and devotion that says, you know what, guys, to salvage this, we need peace. We need to reintroduce peace, balance, and harmony and take it slow. Treat this like a diet. I know it's crazy what I'm saying, but treat this like in moderation. Take it one day at a time, not too much and not too little. There needs to be equal give and take here, but there's a lot of potential here and it's a massive card of healing. The Wheel of Fortune, again, look at that. A change in direction, a change in fortune. What type of change, please? A brand new, fiery, passionate, exciting new start. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We had before the Queen of Swords, now we've got the King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They want to talk to you and they want to seek your forgiveness. The Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. So out of all the nights, this is the most romantic night. This is someone that wears their heart on the sleeve. They're learning to love again. They still believe in romance. Like think about those romantic comedies that we see in Hollywood. It's like they want that love with you once more. That's a massive reunion here. Yeah, you're getting a message. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So the current energy here is that, okay, we're not together. Let's add more on that. But yet, could we still be holding on to each other? The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. We may be alone there, right? But we're still holding on to each other. Because in traditional tarot, we have, you know, King Midas, the hoarder of money, and they're holding on to everything. Like, no, Libra's still mine, and they're not moving on. So even though we've gone our separate ways, I think, I'm not that I'm thinking, I'm really believing here that we're still holding on to each other. And of course, Libra, you might still be, of course, holding on to this heartbreak. And this is going to be your person's job here to convince you that they will never do this again. So let's talk about you with that Eight of Swords. You're holding back. Wow. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Two messages I'm getting. You might have actually been, of course, in a very committed relationship, engaged, married to this person, might have been children involved, and you don't want anything less. But at the same time, I think you're holding back. Some of you may have your eye on someone else. And if you don't, then this person is about to arrive on the scene. So that's why we have two different kings now. Okay, that's why. Take all the time you need. Your person has that Ten of Wands. And the Three of Cups, the most fun, sociable card in the entire deck. Uh, three of Cups is, of course, Cancer Energy. What do they want to do here? Open up lines of communication. They want to invite you out places that are fun, where we can kind of recapture that fun, the innocence of, you know, your favorite places, you know, kind of open up again your favorite jokes, you know, any inside jokes that you have. Yeah, they want to come back. That's a massive card of reunion, but they're just stressed because of this. They know what they did to you and you know as well. You know the extent of the hurt. So they want change and they're just narrowing down how? The two of pentacles. So that is, you know, the balancing act that is Capricorn energy. Two messages I'm getting here. The first one is they're kind of thinking, do I message or ooh, what if I send something to them, you know? So they're kind of just zooming in, they're narrowing down the, you know, because it's about choices and decisions. 
the best way to reapproach you, reintroduce themselves about, I feel like they want to invite you somewhere nice to, with, there's going to be a lot of people, mutual friends, mutual families there as well. It's all about celebration or be their plus one, for example. But also there's that regret here I'm seeing. That's why they're taking their sweet time because they were balancing you and something or someone else. Yeah, worst decision of their life. Let's talk about that heartbreak, please. And yet they want a brand new beginning with their true love because this is the card of true love, the Ace of Cups. So all of this may happen anywhere between one and three months. Could happen next week for some of you. We need to be generous with the timing for the collective watching this. So anywhere between one and three months. Interesting. Yeah, it's about being in love, falling in love all over again. And I think this is like why it's such a burden is because they realize how much they love you. They still can't believe what they did, how they didn't defend you, how they didn't pray hard enough, how they weren't strong enough. The 10 rolls over to the ace. Look at that. The three of wands, please, is clarified by the seven of pentacles. That's a lot of consideration and a lot of planning. And that is uh, Taurus energy. So your person has had enough time now to think about their actions, what they've done, the consequences, because they're thinking long term. That's an investment card. They're thinking about the bigger picture here. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Absolutely. You're worth fighting for. You're worth everything to put in the time, the love, the loyalty, the effort, their entire life now for you. Okay, this person has changed. The only challenge I'm seeing here is that there could be someone else in your life now or they're about to be and this could happen even within the next month for you as well so things are going to move fast for you as well the ten of cups is what they're hiding is the hermit they're hiding the fact that they're a little bit hermity so that's a virgo energy with the hermit the wise sage what i like is that your person has transformed they have changed for the better and that's the whole point right so they're doing a lot of inner reflection they're looking within, or I always say this, they're taking a good hard look in the mirror of what they have done. They could even be leaning more towards the spiritual side of life. And as the wise sage, they know to never, ever do this to you ever again. And they're casting light back into this situation. So they needed this. They needed this time alone to really reflect and start to honor you and this relationship, especially your heart. The advice for you is the magician and the six of wands. This can work out. Leo energy with time, with patience. This is not a quick rise to the top or a quick rise or you know, a quick shortcut to healing, but it's slow and steady progress working as a team. I can see it. Yep. Let's talk about literally the best card in the deck. And I love that it's in your outcome. There's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Both of you will take action. That's the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius Leo. We've got double Leo here. Aries energy. That is the second fastest moving night. It's the traveling night. It's the call to action night, but it's often known as Mr. and Mrs. Right or the knight in shining armor. Like I'm coming here to save this relationship. I know Libra, you don't need saving, but I still want to save you. So they're coming in with gusto and passion. I see that you are also going to meet them in the middle. There you are. I knew it. They said, take out one more card. I'm like, why? And here we are. That's you right there. Libra energy, regardless of gender. Wow. Let's split the deck. Five of Pentacles. This is just something that we need to work over because your person, they did this to you and that's not nice. What's behind it? Well, look at that. Well, I see you're going to make a quick decision. I don't want to. Sorry, you're probably hearing my really noisy chair. The card that came out was Emotional Healing with the Nine of Cups, Pisces Energy. What's in front of you? The Eight of Cups. This is what hurts most is that your person walked away. Pisces energy. That's why we're laying some ground rules here. Even though the sun is saying, hey, light at the end of the tunnel. It's fantastic. Look at that. But first, you need to remind yourself of who you are. You're going to speak your truth. And it's almost like you've been put on notice. <laughs> I feel like that's what you're saying to this person, that if you value this, I'm going to be watching your every move. And they know that. What I do like is that they have evolved to the Hermit. So cards like Judgment, the Hermit, um, the Death card, tell me if someone has really changed genuinely for the better. And they have. So there has, has been heartbreak. I just repeated myself there, sorry. But what I can see here is that both of you will talk. The love is still there. The healing can occur. It's going to take time. I can see that with the Six of Wands. It's not going to happen overnight. But this is not over. We are meant to be together. 
But again, I love how you're you're going to you're going you're getting that boss energy here, and I'm already seeing it with the emperor as well. So in terms of this person that is coming into your life, I don't know if you will pursue it. I probably think you won't. Although you will consider it, but it's this person. You have history with this person. You still do love this person. I can see it. All right, Libra, here they come. And now we know their true feelings once and for all. And this also reveals their intentions and their agenda. All good. Power to you, Libra. Never, ever change for anyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Much appreciated. Bye.